Hello, Kershock here. Today we're covering the Nim Shandu boss fight in Defiance. This video covers phase 3 in which Nim is using his overcharge ego power. As you can see, Nim is severely pissed off that you've been giving him the smackdown in phases 1 and 2. So he's overcharged a few of his abilities and brought new ones to the table. Nim has two main abilities now that we have to worry about. The first, where he used to leap up in the air to shoot you with two projectiles, has been overcharged and such when he leaps up it will now shoot a boatload of homing projectiles towards you. These are easily avoided by keeping the Terra Spire Control Center in between you and Nim. In addition to his two main attacks, Nim will randomly activate the Terra Spire Control Panel, causing glowing patches on the ground which crystals will shoot up out of. You'll want to avoid these patches as the crystals will knock you back causing massive damage. Nim will then jump up into the air, blasting apart the crystals, which can also cause damage if you're caught near them. The crystals themselves are damageable, so if you're caught in a tight spot, you can shoot them down. For Nim's second major attack, he'll teleport behind you and then leap up into the air, slamming down for massive AoE around him. Again, this can be avoided just by keeping the Terrace Fire Control Center between you and Nim. At the start of the fight, when Nim uses this ability, he'll teleport behind you and use his slam once. As you burn his health down though, expect him to do it twice in succession, and then again with low health three times. Consistently keeping the Terrace Fire Control Panel between you and Nim, taking out to one load on him, makes Phase 3 a rather simple encounter. In a nutshell, that is all that is required in order to defeat Nim during this phase. The rest of the encounter has been included for your viewing pleasure. Thank you for watching. This fate.
accept this fate. This fate. 